I previously made a video showing everyone how to take your audio track from your music program or whatever you're using to listen to music and separate that out so that it does not appear on your VOD and it only appears while you're streaming. And what this does is it allows you to play back whatever music you want. Don't hold me to this. There may be changes in the, in the future with Twitch, but as of right now, uh, it, this can generally help you uh, avoid getting a copyright claim or something like that on your video but your VOD is not gonna have any music. It's just for when you're streaming, which I find to be the most important time anyway. So in this video, what we're gonna do is show you the new method because Open Broadcaster has added the functionality into uh, just your settings menu. It's very easy now, so you no longer have to download the Twitch music program. You don't have to jump through as many hoops. We can do this very easily, but I've received lots of emails of people being like, hey, it's not working, how do I do this? And that's because Open Broadcaster updated to make sure that they could take care of you and facilitate this. So let's jump right in. But first, you need to activate your copy of Windows, so check out this advertisement. You know, without activation, you can't change your desktop wallpaper. You can't come in and customize your taskbar. You can't access any of this stuff here. You'll not be able to change to the dark theme, which is extremely important to me. Some of the other new features through Windows Update, you won't get. So you definitely do want to activate. Today's content is brought to you by BobKeys.com. This is where I buy my Windows 10 keys, and every now and then I'll snag a game or something, but I just bought my seventh Windows 10 key here for Windows 10 Professional. You're gonna get 25% off the prices you see here using coupon code TS25. So this is Windows 10 Pro, 25% off that. You want Windows 10 Home? Also, if you want to get a bundle with Microsoft Office and Windows 10, you can get that. That. Got all kinds of things, you know, 2019, just lots and lots of things. Oh, this is a double two PC. After you purchase your key, you just click up here, click on user center. You click on my purchased orders. Just click on view keys and codes. Then in the middle of the page, you'll see your product key. Just highlight that. You're going to want to copy this, then press the start button on your computer and then type activate. You'll see activation settings. Just go ahead and click on that and change product key. Paste it here, then click next and you will be activated. So again, thanks to bobkeys.com, TS25, head over there. The links are all on the top of the description. So things are a lot easier now and the other video is bulky and confusing because Open Broadcaster made some amazing changes. This is Open Broadcaster right here. Let me go ahead and disable the preview. Now, if I go over here into my settings, you can click on them here or there's a settings button down here. And I go over to stream or I go over to, I'm sorry, output. You'll see we have an audio track and then we have a VOD track and we can set those separately. I'm streaming right now or I'm recording right now, so I can't change these. But as you can see, I have my audio track set as one and my VOD track set as two. In this video, we're going to learn how to take all of our different audio devices and map them to either track one or track two. The first thing we need to do is separate out all of our audio devices into individual pieces so that we can work with them separately instead of having all of our desktop audio go through one thing. We don't want that. So in order to do that, we'll need a couple of programs. The first program is VB, uh, VB Audio Software's Voice Meter. And you can get Voice Meter. There's Banana, which is like the regular, just kind of the basic version. This is the one I would recommend for most people. And then if you want to get a little bit nerdier and give yourself more tracks to work with, you can separate more things, maybe have one channel just for Discord or something like that. I use this because I do more than most, but I think Banana is going to be plenty for the purposes of showing what's going on in this video. Now this is a, um, it's not a free program, but it's like a donationware program. You can download it for free, but it'll always pop open and be like, hey, 15 seconds until you're allowed to use this so you can come over here and donate a little bit and then unlock that or get rid of that nag screen but it's up to you if you want to do that or not one thing that is cool if you do download voice meter potato you can always open potato or banana after you've downloaded this they install at the same time together so very easy the next program that we're going to need is on the windows store so open up your microsoft store and download a program called ear trumpet just search for ear trumpet this is what it's called. And then right here, you can just click to install. If you're not signed into the Microsoft Store, you're going to have to do that. So once you launch that, and it's already launched and everything, all the way over here in the corner, you can see we have our um, little speaker icon. Now we, can, now we have two. That's our old speaker icon. And this is our ear trumpet icon. Now by default, it's up here. So what I like to do is you know, grab it and bring it down here. 
How do I know which one's the ear trumpet? Well, you just hover over it or click on it and it'll give you this interface right here where we can expand and see everything and where everything is mapped. So that's very important. Now, what we wanna do primarily is separate our music to a separate channel. So let's let's get our music program and everything ready to go. First off, I'm gonna open up Voice Meter. All right, so this is Voice Meter Banana. And we have a couple of virtual inputs right here. And these are our outputs. So you're gonna ignore your Windows outputs and this will be what you pick for what you hear yourself. I use this as my headphones. The difference in WDM and MME, WDM is the newer stuff that's a little faster. So if it's available on both WDM and MME, MME you're gonna to wanna to pick WMD 90% of the time, unless it's something very old like a creative sound blaster. I like old games, so I've got one of these installed. Anyway, you should not have this many. Just pick your Realtek speakers or whatever you have your headphones plugged up to, just your standard sound output. So I'm gonna click the one that I use because I use the Arc Amp. And now everything is going to go there for my output. But now I have to plug everything in to voice meter. So the first thing I wanna do is I want my desktop audio to go right here to voice meter VAIO, V-A-I-O. We'll show you how to do that, but first off, I want to open up my music program as well, just to have that running. This is the program I use for music. There we go, hi music. I've got a little bit of music playing in the background now. If you use Spotify, just every time I mention FUBAR, just replace Spotify or Winamp or, I don't know, Google Music. I don't know what other programs there are. I use this one, so just replace in your head the other software. So this is the software I'm gonna be using. Let's move that aside. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna map uh, just my desktop audio right here. So the way to do that is to go click on this, click on your old speaker, right click on, or I'm sorry, just left click on this, and then go up, and this is your desktop audio that you're outputting. And I'm gonna output that to the voice meter input, VB audio, voice meter, VAIO. Click on that. What that's done is that's plugged our old desktop audio into this. So this is our now our desktop audio. And now the next thing I'm gonna do, we can go ahead and just click to make that go away. Click anywhere on the background or anything. Now click on Ear Trumpet, this comes up. And this is my music program right here. So just you'll see your Spotify icon or something somewhere around here. And all this is being mapped right here to my standard output. So on your little, you know, whatever icon it is, Spotify, FUBAR, whatever, right click on that. Then click on this little icon here and then you're gonna go down and select voice meter aux. So that'll be uh, where it is, voice meter, there we go, auxiliary, right there. So what that's done is it's told my music program to go here. So how's this gonna work? It's basically separated out the audio from just that one program. And instead of putting it here with all the rest of the desktop, it is now separated into its own channel right here. So now let's go ahead and configure some inputs in our program, Open Broadcaster. Disable the preview again. And then we're gonna go back into our settings. And then we're gonna click on audio. And we have all these different audio options here. So our desktop audio is going to be the voice meter VAIO. Voice meter right here. VB audio voice meter VAIO right there. And then I'm gonna do desktop audio two as my auxiliary. There we go. And then I just plug my microphone straight into Open Broadcaster. I don't go through voice meter, but if you wanted to add effects or something like that, that's a bit beyond the scope of this video, you could do that pretty easily. Anyway, go ahead and hit apply here and okay. And you'll see now we have a few new things right here. We've got our desktop audio and our desktop audio too. So let's configure this stuff. Anyway, just right click anywhere in this area and click on advanced audio properties. So desktop audio too, if you remember, is our music program. So let's go ahead and play something so we get some levels there. So you see now we got some levels here on desktop audio too. That's our that's our music. Turn that down. If you like this music, it's uh, something I made myself. You can go buy it over on Bandcamp, link in the description. Thank you very much in advance. And then if we have some desktop audio going, let's uh, get a video playing or something. All right, there we go. So now I'm watching a YouTube video. I'll move this aside and you can see the YouTube video. Let me turn this down. YouTube video is up here and the music is right here. So this is music. 
This is the desktop audio. This could be your game, your video, whatever. So I'm going to close all this. We very easily have separated these things. Now, if you wanted to, you could come in here and rename these. It's very easy to do. So there's no confusion. I like to click on the cog and then go down to rename. And the desktop, we'll just call this main desktop. And then for this one, you can call it anything you like in your happy little world. But I'm going to call it foobar, or let's just call it music. How about that? Rename to music. There we go, music sneaky because it's gonna get around everything. Now, how do we force this to go to channel one or channel two? We'll right click here again, click on audio properties, and check this out. We've got all these tracks over here. These tracks are the output channels. So I want desktop to go to everything, one and two. You can uncheck everything else. All right, and the one thing I do not want on track two is my music so the music right here it's only going to be on my stream it's not going to be on my vod my vod's just going to have my desktop and my mic that's it close it and just make sure really quickly the audio track vod track is number two so it'll be on the stream won't be on the vod that's pretty much all there is to it now there are some times when you might be playing a song that you know is not under any copyright restrictions so what i like to do is i like to have well i'll just show you let's go back into the settings here this is what this is the way i do it and i have my um one of my just other audio doesn't matter which one you pick but i map it to the auxiliary again so i have two auxiliaries right here there we go one auxiliary two auxiliaries these are both the same thing this is both my music channel and the reason i do that is because if I'm playing something that I know is allowed to be played, I'll switch them around. You know what I mean? And I'll title this one. Let's see, first thing, I need to go in and make sure that it's... Yeah, put that one on all of them. Or put that one... I'm sorry, that's the new one. Okay, there we go. And I'll call this... I'll call it Music Danger! Because if this one's on, that means it's going onto the stream. And then you can just toggle back and forth between which one is on and off, depending on like, hey, you want to play some old video game music or something that you know is not going to get you in trouble. You can easily do that. So now that this is built into Open Broadcaster, it's a lot easier. And I hope this helps you out. But I wanted to go through everything nice and slowly so that everyone could follow along. And good luck out there streaming in this world with dumb stupid messed up copyrights i gave you more information that you needed you can throw away some of it you don't have to do everything that was in this video but hopefully this will allow you to get online and stream play whatever music you like it's been working for me but i listen to mostly underground stuff as in like sometimes mainstream but if it is it's heavy metal um so if you're playing like top 40s i don't know how aggressive the algorithm is so no guarantees but hopefully this will help you out let you get back into playing some music and sharing culture on the internet. Please head over to EpicPants.com. Be sure to check out our beautiful Finnick mouse. Yes, we made this ourselves. Isn't it beautiful? And we also have our um, keyboard here. This is the mother membrane. It's nice and silent. It does have lights, as you can see here, and we can change those by pressing Function Tab. And then it's also water resistant, which is great for streaming if you knock your cup over or something so head over to epicpants.com check that out and i'll see you in the comments